Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Cestus, a fist type weapon that I plan to showcase on my strength build, so my stats are there on the right for you guys. I get an AR of 479 with my heavy infused Cestus on my 82 strength build, so that's some pretty good damage output. Now taking a look at the moveset of the fist type weapons, the light attack chain are the consecutive punches. They do pretty good damage output, they come out pretty fast, although they kind of lack range, so you do have to play around that. The heavy attack is the forward strike, you can fully charge it for the consecutive punches as well, although I tend to go for the standard heavy. It comes out pretty quickly, it's a good mix up as well to throw off your opponent's timing if they do happen to roll around you. You can get a roll catch with the heavy. The running light, consecutive punches, and the running heavy, which actually combos into the heavy if you do manage to poise break your opponent with the running heavy. That does extremely high damage. Quick shout out to Gigas Thickus, who I saw use this combo in a video, as well as Lost, who told me it works really well for his build. He's been using it on a few of his streams, so I really wanted to give it a try now that I'm showcasing a punch type weapon. I also plan to use Blood Flame to buff it so we can get higher bleed buildup since the weapon itself does have the blood loss buildup naturally, or go for something like the Crag Blade Ash of War so we can get enhanced poise damage. I'm really not sure which one's going to work better. We're going to test both in the arena though to see how it goes. As for my choice of talisman, we have the Ritual Shield talisman to enhance my defense until I take that first hit. Then maybe I'll throw on the Shred of Alexander to boost the Ash of War damage output if I do have a Ash of War that has damage output. I'm also trying out the Rotten Wing Sword Insignia because it does raise your attack power with successive attacks, and you are doing quite a lot of successive attacks with the fist type weapons, so I do want to see if that works well, especially with this combo. And then I have the Crimson Armor Medallion plus 2 for the HP boost, and the Bulgo Talisman to hit the poise breakpoint that I enjoy. That's all I really have to say about the Cestus though, let's just see how it performs in the arena and in the nations. Alright, heading into the first duel. Hello there, Bayful. How are you, sir? Um, I guess I'll do Crag Blade. Let's try Crag Blade out first boost the poise damage of the fists since that's what we want to be going for that way if we do happen to take a trade it's fine oh quick step the running heavy actually is really good oh quick step on that actually makes a really good attack quite honestly i just have to get the roll catch being aggressive with fist weapons is pretty interesting there we go <laughs> Oof. i don't know how much damage we're doing oh there we go we get the combo out of that <laughs> all right baleful you're looking really low here what do i want to do maybe a delay a jump attack <laughs> what about a running light just to finish it yeah very fun fight baleful honestly quick step on the halberd pretty cool since you do get the thrust attack out of it it's a good way to go about it moving into the next match we have cough Hello, <laughs> cough. Let me get my crag blade going here. Also, last match I realized I was doing. Oh, was I already dueling? I was doing my running heavy into light attack instead of the heavy attack. Roar, huh? Okay. Oh, I thought we got the roll catch there. We did not. Honestly, the fist weapons have pretty deceptive range. They catch people off guard quite a lot. <laughs> right there as well. I don't know why I do that. I just expect to do a light attack. Oh, I was going to try to roll behind his unsheath. Because it was almost a good roll catch opportunity for him. Uh, are we going to Nagi Nata? Oh, nice. Now we can aggress a little bit easier here. Very fun fight, though. Cough. <laughs> Interesting build. Had dual katanas. Was probably going to swap to dual spears. I don't know. I was aggressing him right there, though. So maybe it didn't give him an opportunity. All right, this time we're gonna go for Blood Flame Blade. Hello. Hello. Oh, you wanted to pop my... Well, you know what, sir? I can get it right back. How do you feel about that? Oh, I didn't I didn't wait long enough, apparently. Running heavy into heavy. Ooh, 1300 damage, pretty good. I'll take that. <laughs> Going for the fake, the fake heavy. Not bad at all. Ooh, I love impaling thrust on that. So light roll is going to be one of the harder things to deal with with this, I'd say. I have to close the gap with jump attacks. <laughs> Just like that, I suppose. But I really thought they were going to dodge the jump attack right there. Okay, I'm really not sure if I like the crag blade more or the blood flame blade. Blood flame is nice for the random lead. I have to say, queuing up in the arena is so quick. Okay, so I have beast roar. Um... Alright, so we have Pan. Hello, Pan. How are you? A Claymore. I like it. Interesting outfit. Maybe gonna go for uh, a poke of some kind? I can't, it kind of seems like he's in his menu. Um, looking for an opportunity. 
to get a nice thrust attack in by swapping to something with a thrust. Bam, bam. So we got a little bit of blood flame bleed build up there. Um, can't tell if he's about to try and get like a. Uh, well, <laughs> take a trade there. Oh, the aim on the fist weapon right there was my undoing. <laughs> <laughs> Very fun fight though, and I do appreciate a nice claymore fight. I really got to get used to the running heavy's uh, manual aiming. When you hit, when you start it, it kind of locks it in. You can't aim it anymore. Ooh, the Limgrave Arena. Hello there. Hello there, Somber Charles. Um, okay. Somber Charles has thrusting weapons. I don't think he wants to let me get the buff. <laughs> but that maybe now he'll give me the space I need for my buff. <laughs> That's what you get, Charles. That's what you get. I jump your pokes. And I give you a little bit of bleed. Yeah, the, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> the tracking on that is pretty funny. <laughs> oh, it's going to be my undoing eventually. It's okay, though. I brawl you, Mr. Bull Goat. These are honestly far better than I thought. I have not really been using fist weapons in Elden Ring at all. And yeah. Running heavy definitely helps when you know it's going to poise break. Oh, nice. I think the k Arena might be my favorite. Pingu! Oh my god. Oh, that might be weird. <laughs> Hello, Pingu. Okay, he's definitely got some wizarding chip damage. I can tell. Maybe? Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, he's probably going to bleed. Oh, wow, that is unfortunate. <laughs> oh, the no armor in Elden Ring for the status effects is is really hard to deal with especially when he's gonna get a poise broken on every hit <laughs> well fun fight pingu oh there we go we got a poised up boy hello there god slayer gonzo hello how are you <laughs> that's my emote lately just because i'm a bit lazy <laughs> Boop. it's not as quick you can actually dodge it pretty easily now oh man and you can aggress so well afterwards r2 I love that jab so much. Oh, the bleed trade. Honestly, these fights are extremely fast. Fist weapons are pretty powerful. <laughs> Their damage output potential right now is very high. Moving into our next match, and there is a wizard near. Suki! I like that name. Hello, Suki. Are you ready? I'm good. Are you double staffing? Are you a dual staff wizard? You are. You are a slicer wizard. Okay. We're going to have to create some openings here. Woof. All right, we're playing. We're playing attack first. I'll, I'll attack first. I'll keep this up. <laughs> I got chipped by that because I, I dodged really slowly. <laughs> I can appreciate some hammering. Nice. I'll take the trade. Better than both of us just... <laughs> sitting there. Uh, uh. The moon was kind of your undoing. Just because you can punish it pretty easy in a 1v1. In a team match, though, I can catch you off guard. Fun fight, though. Alright, now we have Jack the Ripper. Hello, Jack. I'll give him a nice bow here. Jack has dual spears. I should have the poise to tank one L1 trade. We can't allow an easy. I'm going to stay aggressive, though. Spears are far less. <laughs> okay, I didn't need, I didn't mean for it to end in the second roll catch, but very fun fight, Jack. But I feel like spears are a little bit worse when you're not aggressing. Oh, we have Bagel. I think I'm a fan of the Blood Flame, by the way. Hey, Wizard. Wizard. All right, Mr. Wizard. I have a pillar. Your weakness, Mr. Wizard. You see this pillar? It is your weakness. <laughs> I'm sorry, Wizard. I'm only I'm only teasing you. <laughs> Why are you punching me? What? <laughs> Do you think he accidentally put his weapon away? Like his main hand weapon? It's kind of funny. The pillar. I like that I got a wizard in, in the pillared arena, though. That's funny. <laughs> All right, heading into the first invasion, and we are in the Ool Palace. And honestly... All right, we'll get our buff going here. You know what? 
And a little bit of the blood flame. We have Fighty McGoo. Hello, guys. Hello. I'm also a fighter, as you can see from my, my fist weapons here. Oh, um, I always want to call Moonlight Great Sword Moonveil. I don't know why. I think I'll forever do that. Wow. All right, well. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, Tattle? I'm ready, Tattle. What do you got? You got a Claymore. I like it. Nice. Oh, with Light Roll. Interesting. Wait. Yeah, that's definitely Light Roll. Some Frostbite and on the Light Roll as well. Some perfume I like. I like the choice. We use a lot of jumping attacks here, I think. Boom, boom. Uh, I thought he was going to go for the trade with the thrust attack. Perfume. That looks fancy. Oh, you have blues on. Okay. I don't know. He didn't really team me at first, so I didn't want to heal on this nice little honor fight, but now there's a blue here. <laughs> So I'll be I'll be using this Estus right here, indeed. There goes Mr. Blue. <laughs> I'll give you this bubble. All right, with the light roll, I think what we're gonna do is use the storm stomp. Yeah, yeah, that's how I feel about the bubbles as well. They're pretty easy to pop, honestly. I agree with you, Tarl. Bam. I just wanted to get some more blood going on there, to be honest. Yeah, the running heavy is not the most effective against the light roll, from what I'm seeing here. It's hard to actually track and trade with. But we get that out of it. Maybe the running light, though. Give him a, a nice bow. Who's this? Steamed hams. <laughs> Moving into the next invasion, I'm in Grail's Dragon Barrow. And I have no idea where to go because the compass doesn't work in invasions right now. Definitely going to be focusing the duels until that's fixed. Just because of this. Hmm. I don't think they've activated that grace yet because the aura is pulling into it. Maybe I'll try one bloody finger and then we'll see where it takes me. A summon win home. Hmm. Sometimes I end up fighting people over here. Oh, hello there. Hello there, Ishane. That's funny. I've had some fights over here with some viewers, I think. That were like tauntered tongued. Nice little 360 to dodge the flies. That's right, I have a system. <laughs> Kinda works. Oop. Bam! <laughs> well, very fun fighty, Shane. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, though it's going to be really, really difficult to find hosts in the open world when you invade without the compass. They can hide as an object too, and you definitely never find them. Alright, heading into the final invasion and seeing that health bar actually helped me tremendously. I know they're nearby, and it's Ragnar Lothbrook. Wait, and Ragnar Lothbrook fell. Where? Oh, did he actually fall? What? What? I'm confused. What happened to Ragnar? Okay. <laughs> Moving into the final invasion, and we are in Noxtella. Oh, I actually see them. I was going to say, please be near me. That's all I ask. This place is pretty big. And sometimes you get spawned, like, above them. Greatly above them. Hello there. Hi, guys. I think they noticed me. Hi there. Boop. Miss Levelsworth, hello. Are you ready for the flaming fists of doom? I'm, I'm ready for the double katanas. That's always fun. Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna go with the madness beam. Oh, that actually did really, really good build up right there. Bam. Oh, a Moonvale and a Rivers of Blood. This would have scared me a while ago. Now, not so much. Bam. I was like perfectly timed. <laughs> yes, I'm coming, Rivers of Blood. That's not healthy. <laughs> Hit me out of the air, that's funny. Boom, boom. Punch. 
Goodbye, Rawl. <laughs> oh, man. Very fun fight, though, Rawl. I like seeing both katanas in one invasion. It's been a while. Well, that about covers all the battles that I have for you guys for today. I hope everyone enjoyed the showcase. Once again, there's my stats on the right, the armor that I wore, the talismans that I utilized throughout the showcase. I really appreciate all the input you guys give for the builds, weapons, and ashes of war you'd like to see. So once again, thank you again. Until the next video, though, this is goodbye. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later. Goodbye. Goodbye.